Well, boys, I thought I'd get me the Arion from uh, Artisan Cutlery. This is an interesting design at first. Uh, I didn't realize it was Cerberus uh, Knives design. I, you know, it for some reason it just seemed familiar to me as maybe more like something I could see Ray Laconico doing. Very simplistic design uh, and yet attractive. Kind of less is more and this is definitely uh, an attractive design, I think but pretty straightforward and not overly complicated. So, but it's Cerberus Knives, and that's interesting. Um, I'll give you the link to their Instagram. You can go check them out. Uh, there's their logo here on the knife. And this is a bigger one, but these are both, and I thought I'd put them together because they're both White Mountain Knives exclusives, okay? And when I was looking, I mean... I. One thing that I really am not big on is micarta or G10 or carbon fiber and then the backside being titanium. And so one side does not match the other side. In this case, these two knives are, are good with me because we've got a liner lock with micarta on both sides and this is the AR rpm 9 uh, blade steel so that's their proprietary steel from uh, artisan and it's uh, I believe it is a crucible powder metallurgy but it's closely related to the 9 CR 18 okay so it's a user steel it's not a super steel in that regard so this one I like it because it is the same on both sides as well, you know, and this is the mini. So this is uh, also, of course, Cerberus Designs, but this is the Arion in the smaller version. Get over the detent ball. Here we go. Nice drop. Nice drop. Kind of surprising drop. Where's that flipper tab? You know, and it's a nice break because not everything needs to be a flipper. Design flows great right into the bolster right here. Blade to handle length. Um, I don't know. Maybe you could have stuffed a little tiny bit more. Let me see. What do we got here? Um, well, it's comfortable. Then now I can't. I can't snag the end of that blade. So you make the call on that. I. Yeah, you're probably as much as you really want to put in there. This is that green micarta, and then it's got black hardware on it, deep carry pocket clip, but no left hand, which is kind of unusual, seeing as how this one is what is... Uh, let me let me grab my paper. It's $85. So $85, but LTK discount gets you 10% off, so take $8.50 off, right? So you're in the 70-some dollar range with a pretty good-sized knife. You know, here it is. It's 3.81-inch blade, okay? Um, and I think I might have the wrong one here. Because, oh, that says titanium. Doesn't that say green micarta titanium? But it's not. This is green micarta, period. That's kind of a little uh, difficult uh, with the uh, description because that's steel. That's not titanium. Okay. But in the 70-something dollar range, probably the person doing the description is kind of, oops. But yes, this is nice. This is good size. Okay, let's, let's kick it out here. Let's put the tape on it. And take a look. Yeah, uh, three and three quarter. I don't know if I'd call it 3.8 whatever. And maybe now I'm getting the description confused with the knife. But, uh, and overall, eight and three eighths. Okay, so 21 centimeters. Still, pretty good size knife. Pretty good size knife. Not a bad drop. Still looking for the flipper tab. Um... And, yeah, it's got jimping up on top, but it's not too rough. You know, it's not just crazy tough. And it's got a little cutaway here so you can get with your sharpener. And, you know, piercing, slicing should be 
easy enough. And let's grab a piece of paper, see if we can do any slicing. Okay. That's nice. Let's take the little guy here. And what about you, buddy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody did a good job with that one. That's for sure. So, I mean, this one being the more a luxurious model being, what, uh, 178, something like that. And then take 77, you know, 10% off, 17 bucks. So you're at like 160 something with this. Okay. I mean, S35BN, full titanium, a lot of little mill work on this baby. Uh, backspacer, mm, nice design. So... Uh, let you go. There you go. Probably not going to cut myself because you got this little cutaway area in here. So it's probably not going to actually cut me when it drops down. No. So really, you get used to that. It should be pretty fidget friendly in that regard as well. But fairly thin. Of course, this one, <laughs> this, does this make sense? Okay, hold on. Uh, well, of course, this one's not, you know, not the full-on luxury model because it's not titanium and it doesn't have a super steel, so this is the more affordable one. But, I mean, small box, big knife. Big box, small knife. Makes sense, right? So, Artisan, here's your uh, model number, all that kind of stuff. And like I said, you, to get these particular ones, you have to go to White Mountain because it is their exclusive. And then little little guy, little knife, gets uh, a pouch inside of a tin box, inside of a cardboard box, and, and he, there's your plastic, there's your uh, microfiber cloth, and all that kind of stuff. So, ah, it's a lot of doings to get with this, isn't it? It is something else. Woo. We all good with that. I mean, these tins, anybody use these tins for stuff? You can use them as like a, a tray to throw your keys in or, you know, other kinds of things. You know, your EDC stuff in. Maybe even line it with some felt or something and just, uh, I don't know. I mean, they, I mean, it's such a waste otherwise. I mean, because that's, that's a nice tin to have. Um, and it's a hell of a big one for, for this little guy right here. Oh, well, let's throw it on a scale, come to think of it, because I'm going little guy, and it feels light in the hand, too. So let's weigh them both off just for the hell of it. 83 grams, almost 84. This one, 115. That's not terribly heavy, but, okay, let's go 115. Let's roll it around to ounces. Oh, crap. Sorry. Okay, 115, let's hit the right button, okay, and four, okay, four ounces, that's not, nah, that's not bad, and this one, uh, right at three, so one ounce difference between the two, and, you know, very different sizes, this one's probably, I'm going to guess, is right at three or under three blade length. And it's right at three. It's a three and a seven. Okay. So 78 uh, millimeter length blade at 17 and a half centimeters. But seven inches overall, three inch blade. Light, light, right under three ounces. Oh, you know, another thing. Mm, 10 millimeter thickness, 0.39. That is really thin. That's thin in the pocket. Uh, 0 0.1 at two and a half millimeter blade stock. Now let's get this guy out. Let's figure out what we got for blade stock. And definitely thicker. Yeah, three millimeter blade stock at 0 0.12. And then, but thickness is, yeah, 0 0.42. That's still 10.7 millimeters. That's still pretty thin. I mean, get over here. Um, yeah, I wonder if I should. Okay, this is good enough, I guess. Uh, paramilitary 2, 11.3, 0.44. Still, this is pretty slender in the pocket, and yet uh, the Arion is even more slender. And 
it's uh, you know it's a little bit bigger at eight and three eighths this is eight and a quarter this is a longer blade here on the Arion than it is because this has got a longer handle here it's kind of bringing up the back on that so yeah you know, interesting very comparable there uh, but of course M4 probably being a bit better than AR RPM 9 uh, and you know I I've heard different things about the performance of AR RPM 9 heard some people not like it so much heard other people say it was really great I don't know um, the problem is I just don't track it I use my knives until they're dull and then I sharpen them but I don't really make a mental note of well, how many times did I cut something? How often have I used it before it got dull? And then, you know, when I sharpen it, I don't, I don't sharpen knives so often that I really have a good sense of how hard the steel is when I sharpen it, if that makes sense to you. What does that say? Okay. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? Um, because I've used so many different knives with so many different steels that I, I just, I don't have a good mental note there. I, I, I like it if they sharpen fairly easy and this shouldn't be difficult to do. Uh, micarta, you got a little lanyard place here. Deep carry, pocket clip, flat screws, and you know what? That That's easy going in and out of the pocket. So really, it, 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 this is a nice design. I mean, I like it, and I like this for the price. Micarta, uh, a metal powder, a m powdered metallurgy steel, and a great ergos. This is just straight as an arrow, and reverse grip, um, slender. Even though it has size to it, and there's the balance there, and this one obviously. Yeah, it's good you can get, I can get all four fingers on there, so I'm okay. Jimping on top of the blade. Uh, you got a cutaway here so you can finger flick without a problem, and it flicks open really nicely. Um, I don't know if I showed you this. Uh, that's, man, that's 40% lockup, isn't it? And you know, got a nice easy pass through to be able to disengage. It's not anything difficult to do so that's not bad at all this one same way look at this the pass through here easy to disengage now this one's a heavier blade so it definitely falls right right there on your thumb but i mean you know that's not a sharpened area to do so so really very fidget friendly you know very fidget friendly um, you know the I'd say, you know, especially on this, fit and finish is pretty good. It's centered up. I mean, I don't know what I'd want to be begging for on that as far as fit and finish go. Like, what do I need more here? Um, it, it's nice and rounded. Nothing sharp and nothing feels uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, this one. Pretty much the same. I mean, they broke all these edges here. It, it's pretty smooth, pretty rounded. Look at this area in here. Um, all the way around. It, it It's pretty fair. It really is. So let's see if we can get ourselves in trouble. Okay. We're going to start out taking this screw out of the front. That back screw wasn't moving, and there's probably a damn good reason why it wasn't. Okay, hold on. Now, one thing for sure I think that Artisan ought to really consider doing is, is uh, and I'm moving it on both sides, am I not? Yeah, I'm, I'm rolling on both sides. Um, is to go to number eight screws here. On the body, I mean, Sen Cut, Civivi, uh, Wee Knives, uh, I think Best Tech, even like Petrified, I don't know, not Petrified Fish, what else? 
I mean, just a bunch of other knives have gone to that. Probably QSP, Kubi, um, you know. And so I think it would be a smart move to do that. Okay, I'll do anything to uh, find a tool that will get the job done. And I thought I had it. Okay, yeah, I use my little knife buddy, knuck bottle opener, pry bar, everything tool. But it, I know, I mean, it was just sitting over here, and it and it has the number number six here, number eight there where you can flip them and trip them, and so I just grabbed that sitting over here. Okay. Okay. All right, now I can take this apart, and we've got skeletonized liner on here. We've got the blade stop right stuck in here, and there's that standoff, and of course the screw fell out the backside when I unscrewed it. So, okay. Uh... And this is the presentation side, by the way. And we have ceramic bearings. So even on their budget, uh, you know, version, it, you, you get that. And this is why this back uh, screw would not unscrew is because it has got squared off. And it goes through a squared off area on the liner and it ain't going to move. So before you... Uh, get into hossing things around too much check that out and of course here's your uh my car to back spacer and your little lanyard piece there all righty we all kinds of crazy over here let's grab the uh i gotta get my lube over here figured out okay so we came in from the back with this squared off piece so that's the way we're gonna come back on it and fit you right through there. There you go. Okay, so we've got these ceramic bearings. It's not too shabby there. And, uh, well, let's put the, uh, you know what? That's a hoss, isn't it? That stop, whew, that thing is a fat daddy. Man, that's pretty sturdy. Okay, kick this on. Let's compress that lock bar down as we do this. And let's throw another bearing ring on here. And I think I'm looking around. Oh, 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 oh. Well, let's, uh, okay. Let's, this will be fun. Let's do this. Let's get the backspacer on. Just about forgot the backspacer on another one I was putting back together. Yikes. Okay, get out of here. Hey, you gonna go in? You gonna be cooperative? Okay, okay, okay. Now, there we go. Snap. Okay, we're through. We through? Okay. And let's get this kind of locked down not too hard but some and then here's where the screw fell out the back side I think they look about the same length but these are number sixes which is and eh, kind of really need to be uh, thinking about doing number eights on the body screws And, okay, and this one here, too. Come on, let's just plug you in. Okay. And are we turning the whole thing? Probably. Oh, I started undoing this. Come here. Let's put you back right there. I didn't need to take that pocket clip off. So that's okay. Now, let's hold you steady. Eddie with my little knife buddy knuck and we'll get you 
snug down to where okay there now we're good now we're good okay now let's see what we are doing okay uh are we are we loose nope nope are we centered nope nope we're not okay so we do need to do a little bit more adjusting on here oh from the front Okay, and we look like we're centered now. We got any play? All right. Big boy. Not so big boy. But the Arion Cerberus Knives uh, design collaborative with the Artisan. Um, you know. Put your comment down below. What do you think? Is this something that you bought or you've carried? What's your experience been? And let me know, because we do. We love them knives. See you guys. Stay sharp.